We begin at five with major developments in a Target 12 investigation contract controversy. I'm Mike Montecalvo. And I'm Shannon Heggy. No charges, but new revelations following a criminal probe into a multi-million dollar state education contract awarded by the McKee administration. Target 12 investigator Tim White is here now with the findings. Tim. Mike and Shannon, in the end, Attorney General Peter Nerona's office found Governor Dan McKee personally intervened to award a lucrative state contract to a politically connected consultant group, but felt the evidence was too murky to charge the governor or any of his associates. Since 2021, the so-called ILO investigation has hung over the governor's office like a cloud as federal and state investigators examined how the McKee administration came to award a multi-million dollar education contract to a company that was formed the same week McKee was sworn into office. ILO Group's founder had worked for a close confidant to the governor who had consulted with the McKee administration in how the contract, initially valued at more than $5 million, should look. The state and federal investigation was launched shortly after Target 12's initial report. Among the findings, the investigation found McKee steered the contract to ILO Group against the initial advice of state contracting officials. McKee, his former and current chief of staff, and the head of ILO Group all declined to be interviewed by the state police. Nerona's team looked at bribery, campaign finance, and ethics charges, but ultimately decided the evidence was, quote, cloudy and contradictory. Among the evidence obtained by state police, administration officials originally recommended to McKee that the contract should go to another lower bidder. McKee then texted Department of Administration Director Jim Thorson asking who made the final decision. I would like to speak to whoever made the final decisions. The next day, Thorson personally drove a copy of the contract to the governor at his Cumberland home. After receiving it, McKee texted Thorson that night to tell him the decision was flawed. Eventually, the state request for proposal, or RFP, was retooled. An email obtained by investigators written by ILO Group founder Julia Raffelbear stated, it is a fixed RFP, but luckily I know the person it's fixed for, then added a wink emoji. A lawyer for ILO Group argued the findings vindicated the company, saying in an email, we are pleased that this matter has concluded and ILO Group looks forward to continuing its work supporting public education nationwide. Now, we reached out to the governor's office earlier this afternoon for a comment, but have not heard back yet. We should note he is scheduled to be in our studios tomorrow at 12 News at 4. The attorney general and state police colonel Darnell Weaver are scheduled to take questions from reporters tomorrow morning. With the Target 12 investigators, Tim White, 12 News.